Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Naja from NajaDiamond.com and today I'm going to do a fashion video for you. I know it's been a while since I've done a fashion video, but today we're going to talk about fall shoes. I am so ready for it. I don't know about y'all, but I love the crisp air. I love when the leaves fall. I love the deep, rich colors of fall. I love the cozy knits. I love fall and I am ready, okay? So today I'm going to talk about my favorite fall shoes or my fall shoe guide. So these are the shoes that you should have in your wardrobe for fall. If you guys aren't already subscribed to my channel, then please go ahead and subscribe. Click the red button somewhere around here. Also, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Anyway, you guys, we're going to go ahead and get started. Shoe number one in the fall time, you guys, I feel is the ankle booty. Listen, the ankle booty is a staple. It's like a sandal, but for fall. This is a pair from Rebecca Minkoff that I have, and it has this really cute, like, little harness ankle, um buckle right here and this is also removable so if you really want it to um you can take it off but it has a really nice low manageable heel you guys i can wear this boot for long periods of time i can wear it shopping i can wear it you know out and about i can wear it for a few i can wear it for several hours without you know being in pain you can go put these with anything you can wear them with jeans you can also wear them with like a nice little skirt and tights I mean the versatility of a black boot is just so high so I also have a pair that's a little bit higher this is a little bit more of a stiletto boot um, and it does come a little bit higher up on the ankle and it also has some lace detailing right here this was the Aquazora um, Target collection uh, booty that I got and this is like in just like a faux embossed leather it has a pointy toe which is very sexy it's going to elongate the leg it's going to make you look taller and it has a stiletto heel so it's going to be a little bit more dressy a little bit love 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 this boot so I feel like between the two of these um this is more of an everyday casual this is more of a uh you know dressed up you know fancier look with that you guys you cannot leave out the brown booty this is a brown ankle boot so I love it in this suede also a pointed toe if you guys will notice the theme in my shoes I am short I'm only 5'1 okay because I am so short um, you will often see me in a pointed toe shoe and it just is because it elongates the legs this pair is a really uh, nice pair from Sam Edelman I actually bought these last year never wore them they have never been worn yet but I will have some use for them this year for sure it's in this really nice suede material the um, ankle is a little bit higher it's a little bit above my ankles per se and then the heel is a nice manageable height as well for a heel this is an excellent boot you can find this from Nordstrom's I want to say that they are still available or something similar to them so again the brown and the black ankle boot absolute must-have so Now you guys, let's move on to the pump. I am all about a good pump, you guys. I'm all about a good sexy pump. In the fall time, I do like to take it. Like I said, I love my olive greens. I love my deeper, darker, richer tones when it comes to um, heels. So this pump is like an everyday pump. This is like a work pump. Um, I got these from Banana Republic. It has a very nice manageable heel. I want to say that's probably like a three and a half maybe four maybe heel it's a really good heel like I said you can walk around all day in the office with these it also is in a suede also really nice with a pair of skinny jeans and like a nice little sexy top absolutely love an everyday must-have pair of pumps and so moving on to a fun pump I will say it's not really for the office um, I mean you can if you want it to but this is a little bit more um, for the more adventurous uh, woman this is um, my Fendi's these are my Fendi um, I don't know what they're called actually but I absolutely love these I love them in this rich cobalt blue color you guys the heel on this ain't no joke but also the platform helps you out this is about a five six inch heel right here but then it also has like an inch and a half as far as a platform you guys these are the most comfortable heels that I own it's literally like walking on clouds of course you get what you pay for 
quality definitely helps if you have shoes that aren't of such good quality then um they will tend to hurt your feet expensive shoes hurt your feet too okay you just gotta practice but these shoes are a dream love them love them love them i love wearing them with tights i love wearing them with skirts it makes my legs look a mile long they are perfect okay i like mixing and matching them as far as colors go i really almost treat it, treat this shoe as a nude because it's such a statement shoe that i will wear it with almost anything if i have a mustard color i'll wear it with if i have greens i'll wear it with it um, I also like to maybe pair it with a burgundy. It has this brown trim right here and just like a gold like buckle. But yeah, it has some detailing up here. It has a peep toe. And you might say, oh, Najee, you got the heel out. You got a peep toe. It's like a sandal. But when you put it in this suede color, if you put it in this suede material and this richer color, it definitely will transition to fall beautifully. So sticking with heels because I have one more pair. So I feel like you can't talk about about fall shoes without talking about a nice thigh high yes it is thigh high season ladies and gentlemen and you know what you know what bless these people with some thigh highs okay get you a pair I have this pair right here the sad part is is I actually have several pairs of thigh highs but I don't have many that fit me why because I have very thick thighs i have very thick calves my calves ain't no joke they're like a i don't know almost a 19 inch circumference so i have to buy them either special order or like this pair i bought from torrid so i bought it from a plus size store and they sp almost like you know they have wide wider sizes so you guys this is a really nice black pair the heel is a nice manageable heel. This is about, I don't know, maybe a three inch heel or something, maybe. Um, and then of course, the pointed toe. You guys, like, you know, I do a pointed toe. It just makes me look taller. So, but they come all the way up past my knees to my thighs. They the thighs, y'all. This is such a good boot. And then you have a little zipper here on the side that will, you know, allow for you to kind of get your shoe, your foot in and out of the shoe. sneakers so I love me a good flat I'll, I'll do a flat I'm sure will it has to be cute so I think a nice little everyday classic Adidas I mean you really can't go wrong with these this season they're really big last season um you can also do the Stan Smiths I have two pairs of those um or you can just do you like an Air Max or something like that but a, a, a classic sneaker a classic sneaker that you can kind of wear with a pair of tights you can wear with an uh oversized sweater um just like a really nice pair of sneakers wear these shopping wear these whatever wear these to live your life I wear these, you know, semi-often. If you want to take it up a notch, if you want to step it up with your sneaker game, maybe you're not so into like the casual, casual look and you want to do something maybe a little bit more fancy or like a mach oh gosh, you guys, I know it. These are my Michelle Obama shoes. I feel like Michelle Obama will wear these shoes. I, you, you know what I'm talking about when she wore those Lava sneakers. Oh my gosh, she just be so dope but I like these shoes because it's going to give you a little bit of inject a little bit of personality um it's also going to give you a little bit more of a luxe feel to a regular sneaker so this has a semi platform it's not like you know a creeper or anything like that but you kind of have a, a wider platform heel and you also have uh the suede finish and you have it in this deep rich burgundy color with matching laces you guys this shoe is just so rich and just so pretty I love it like I said if you wanted to pair it with you know different colors and then the same family again with this mustard sweater and like something like this on the bottom I think it will offer you a really nice contrast to your fall look so, so you guys another flat that I love to wear I love to wear a nice fun flat something that is going to be a little bit like out of the norm I guess and something that I can wear to work um I did pick these up last year you guys these are in this beautiful like mustard yellow color it's almost a gold color and then it has this nice little furry pom-poms on them so this is the flat here the color the texture and this like
like detailing up here is what's going to make it perfect for the fall season um, so another flat is a loafer i go this is my go-to shoe often in the fall time you guys i always go to a neutral loafer shoe i had these a couple of years ago and i didn't think that i would wear them so much my friend courtney actually picked these out for me and he was like you need this shoe in your wardrobe and i was just like i'm never gonna wear that shoe it's ugly it's men wear men's wear inspired i'm not really a men's wear cut type of gal but i have found myself wearing these very often sometimes i'll just wear some boyfriend jeans um cuff the bottoms wear like a little flannel shirt and a nice little like crisp white tee i throw on some statement jewelry and boom it's a look it's a look so I really like these as far as a flat alternative to a sneaker or to a more dressy flat. The loafer is a good choice. Last but not least, it is going to be the all weather boot. This is going to be probably my go to boot. I wear this boot all the time. If you cannot tell, these boots have been loved. These are my kind of rocker moto boot. These are like my motorcycle boots. I will throw these on over top of some leggings, a leather jacket. I will throw a cardigan on with a leather jacket over top of it and then like some jeans, tuck these into some jeans. I will be repurchasing another pair probably halfway through the year because if you can tell by like the heels like y'all it's these are a struggle but i get me a pair just about every year i really should step it up with the quality i got these off of amazon and they were perfect when they arrived but like i said this is after like one season so i would definitely step it up this year i'm probably going to go for maybe a designer brand that is going to last me a little bit longer i love this like lip right here in the front um to hang down this is just my slouchy my slouchy I don't care but I care I feel like wearing these I always look stylish I look put together it's like also my alternative to an UGG I don't know I just feel like too grown for an UGG I probably would I might wear UGGs this year I don't know but I feel like I've outgrown an UGG but I will throw these on in a minute to just look smart look put together and just look dope I feel like these are just like instant cool girl factor you guys is an all-weather boot these are my Sperry's rubber or duck boots uh, we call them duck boots you can also do like a um a hunter rain boot hunters don't fit my calves I told y'all I got those monster calves so an ankle boot is, is so much better for me I wear these in the snow I wear these in the rain I wear these you know pretty much the snow in the rain <laughs> but I would size up in these maybe even two sizes up because you're gonna wear thick socks I always wear the, those really thick almost ski socks with these because like I said it's always cold when you're gonna wear these be it that is all for my fall shoe guide I hope you enjoyed that video um I will include all um options down below where you can maybe find some dupes for all of these shoes um and yeah you guys that's it my next um if you guys want to see any other videos like this go ahead and leave them down below let me know and I would be happy to maybe show you how to style a pair of these how i wear them like with different outfits things like that anyway you guys that's gonna be it for this video thank you so much for watching and i'll talk to you again soon bye